Hi there, once again, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D text in Photoshop. Consider subscribing if today is your first time visiting my channel and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So we're going to create something like this, this amazing 3D text and I'm going to walk you through everything step by step with no steps skipped. So without much ado, let's jump right into action. <music> So first we're going to set our canvas, so go to file and click on new. And then we're going to use 920 by 1080 p for our background. So I'll click on create. Now we're going to give a background color. So go to the adjustment layer and then let's give a solid background color. Just select any color of your choice. I'm going to stick with this for now. You can easily change it anytime you want. And then let's type our text. So I'm going to use my test tool and then type 3D text. So 3D text. And I'll probably want to enlarge this. So we use my move tool and then just increase the size a bit. To enlarge this to any size you are comfortable with. And then from there, what we need to do is that let's make sure this text is selected on our layer. And then go to what your main menu and click on 3D. And we are going to select what new 3D extrusion from selected layer. So make sure you click on that. So I'll select this and then just wait for this to load. Now it's going to move us into the 3D mode where we can do a lot of adjustment to this. So you can see this is the 3D. We can change the alignment, position, how we want this to be. We can easily do that modification. We'll stick to this and I'll be doing more videos with 3D. Remember to subscribe and turn on post notification for more of my 3D videos. So now we just want to modify this. If you come back to your layer, you can see the 3D section has been enabled and we can easily play alongside this. So if you come down here, we have the 3D test front inflation. So you can easily target the front and then change the color. So when you select the front from here and you go to the property option, you can easily select and then change how the font is going to appear so you can easily play with these colors over here all these presets you can easily play with them so let me just select any of them from here so you can see already this is changing so you can just play around with them and then just stick to the one you want to use so just make sure you select that and then pick any of them of your choice so i'm going to stick with this and then when you come down here we have other we have the front bevel material and have the 3D text material. So I can also select here and then change, play with alongside other colors. Okay, so just select and then do the modification. So you see how this is going to look like to give you a preview of how your text is going to display. So you just can just play around with this and change the colors, you can change direction and every other thing. I'm not going to go details into this. I'm just introducing to 3D design or how to create 3D text in this video. I'll do more detailed video how to create amazing 3D later on. So let's just go along with this. Subscribe for more of my upcoming video tutorials. So if you are set and you are comfortable with this, what you have to do is we have to render this text. If you are okay with everything, we have to first render this. So what you do is go back to 3D and then select what? Render 3D layer. So just click on that. It's going to take some time depending on the speed of your computer. So I'll click on this. I'll pause this video. So when the render is done, we'll come back to this. So you see it's going to render this you can see it has started and it's going to display the progress down here to take some time then to display the progress down here so we have to wait for this to be done and then we can save this image or rasterize this image okay so just give this some time and then i'll be back so you can see the progress of the rendering down here is almost done rendering about 97 percent we just have to wait for this to progress until it's done and then we can save this as a normal image. So I'll wait for this to complete in some few minutes and then I'll be back. So once the rendering is complete, what you have to do is to go to the layer and then now just right click on that layer and then let's um, rasterize 3D. So we're going to click on rasterize 3D and then we're going to get our image in a normal form so you can move this around you can see this is now a 3d image you can play around this any time at all you want 
So you want to subscribe for more of my 3D videos and other upcoming video tutorials. Like, subscribe, and then leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know if you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. Like, come away again. Bye-bye.